Hello friends, welcome to the new tech navigators. In this video, we will explain you how to create an advanced time management template with dashboard in Google Sheets. As you are seeing my screen, this is the advanced time management dashboard and we have data here, which is the template. Now I will explain you dashboard first. Here we are showing the total hours. Then this is the productivity rating, which is out of 10 and this is average rating and here we have the average focus label which is also out of 10 then we are showing here task priority versus time is spent in hours and high low and medium you can see the time also we are showing here the priority wise task count so high low and medium we can see the task count then we are taking the energy level wise task count and here we are taking medium, high, low and very high and we, you can see the counts also. Then in this chart we are showing the duration in hours by the task type. So these are the task type and we can see the duration in hour. Okay. Then next chart is the productivity rating by energy level. We have here energy level then we are showing here the average productivity rating. This is category wise duration in hours. So we have different categories and this is the duration in hours. Now I will show you the data of this template. So here we have the data wherein you have to enter the new information and this is a ready to use template. You can simply delete this data and you can start filling your data. This duration column is a formula and uh, this is the date. Then here we have the task activity. This is the start time, then the end time. We have a duration here wherein we have put this formula. Then we have a drop down for the priority which is high, low and medium. Then we have here category which is again a drop down and this is customizable. You can just change it as you want. And uh, then we have the energy label also which is low, medium, high and very high. Then this is the focus label and you have to enter the focus label between 1 to 10 and accordingly you can set the focus level and wherever we are taking it as a break or we are taking some personal as a category then we are not giving the focus level and the productivity rating productivity rating also you can provide uh, in uh, 1 to 10 as per the uh, requirement then here we are taking the task type uh, which is high impact core task rest routine task or personal you can add more uh, if you want this is the goal or the objective column then here in the last you can put the notes which is a free text field. So this is the template. Using this template we have created this dynamic dashboard. If you will make any change here automatically dashboard will be changed. Now I will show you step by step how you can create this in Google Sheet and then how you can create the dashboard. Let's select this data and uh, I'm going to add a new spreadsheet. Just go to the file new and click on the spreadsheet. Let us paste our data from a bun. So we can paste as shift control B as a value. We'll paste as a value so that I'll show you how we have done the formatting and put the formulas. Everything I'll show you. Just select this and uh, first align this center and middle. Reduce the font size, take around eight. Select the header and give some darker color. Let's say I'm taking this color here and take the font white and make this bold and one font bigger. Take nine. Increase the column width of few columns like column B, which is task and activity. And here you can increase for the objective and the comments. Okay. Now we can create the drop downs. So in the Google Sheet, we are getting one option convert to the drop down chips. If you click here, automatically it will create the drop downs. If you want to create the drop down, let's say for task and activity also, you can simply select that right click and go to the drop down. Then it has created automatically and you can start changing the color also. If you want to take some different color for each drop down or you can simply click on done. Okay, so that is how you can create that. For the duration, we can put the formula like uh, end time minus start time. So we will get this information in the days. Now we can multiply this by 24. So this will be hours. Just fill this down and then change the number formatting. So just go to the format number 
and go to the custom number formatting and here you can just put 0, 0.0 apply so we can see it is in hours go to the view and so uncheck the grid lines from here now select this data and then you can apply the border formatting so just go to the borders and take let's say this color and apply all borders so we can see the borders here this is data sheet just rename this add a new sheet and that sheet will be dashboard just rename this as dashboard okay just move it first position and then we'll start creating the dashboard like we have created here okay on the top we will put some header like we have done here so let's put the header so select this range and from a till column o use merge cells and increase the row height fill some background color and let's say i'm taking this dark background again font white font name let's take area around it font size take around 22 and put here time management dashboard align this center and middle now reduce the row height of the row number two then go to the view so uncheck the grid lines and reduce the column width of the first column let's say and here we will select these two columns huge merge and increase the row height and this will be total hours just align this center and middle and here we will take some darker color let's say i'm taking this color and font take white make this bold select this range till here and use merge fill here lighter color of the same theme and uh, font take the area rounded font size take around 40 align this center and middle now we will put the formula here take sum data and take the sum of duration and just hit the enter so we are getting here sum now we will copy this and let's paste that here and paste that here and reduce the column width of these two column like this and fill some color here let's say i'm taking this color and take the same theme color and here some different color this one okay and then we will put the formula here and this will be we will take the productivity rating like we have taken here this productivity rating and focus level just copy this and paste that here and focus level we will take the average of productivity rating so we will use the average formula here and select the productivity rating and just hit the enter and reduce the decimal place till one place only and use here again average formula and this time we will take the average of focus level take one place only okay now we'll start creating the charts so the first chart we will create which is task priority versus time spent or duration by task priority so let's insert a chart here and then we'll take the range so just go to the data and uh, we will take the range of the task priority which is column f click on add and uh, we will take the duration here which is column e this one click on ok and aggregate this x axis priority and y axis is duration now go to the customized make it 3d you can change the colors just click on this and take the color let's say this one add the data labels then we will add the chart chart title let's add here duration by priority and just format this okay now let's keep this chart here and make it smaller like this you can remove the grid lines from here just double click on the grid lines 
and check major grid lines. Now we will make a copy of this and we will paste that here. The second chart we have taken these two chart which is priority wise task count and energy level wise task count. So just make it smaller. Double click and first change the chart type take here pie chart this one and just remove this duration from here so we will take only priority okay so G, remove this e and just enter so we have here priority now take use uh, row one as headers go to the customize 3d and we can remove the legend from here so go to the legend and move it to the bottom and you can add the data labels also from the pie chart just add the values we can copy this and paste here for the second chart uh, this is count by priority and here we will take count by energy label okay just change it to the donut or you can change the whole size from here also from pie chart and take the donut hole around 75 or take around 50 and uh, it will be changed to the donut automatically and we'll change the data and we will take the energy level so energy level is on column h okay so this chart is automatically changed now we will create the duration in hours by task type just copy and paste here or we can copy this chart which is we are already taking by the duration just double click and change the data so we want to create this for the task type so for the task type we will take the range here go to the data and the task type is this one column k and uh, make it bar and make it 3d so duration by task type now similarly we can create these two chart also productivity rating by energy label so we can take this chart copy and paste here double click and uh, change this chart to the bar chart and take the energy level here energy level is already there just add one more range for the productivity rating this one click on ok so take here productivity rating and take here average and then just change the number format go to the series change the number format as custom number format and take here 0.0, .0. if you want to make it 3d you can do that or you can keep it as it is the last one we will create category wise duration so we have duration here just copy and paste here and in place of task type you can take the category just double click and change here category column G okay so this is duration by category you can change this to the line chart from the setup and take the line chart okay and you can customize it if you want go to the series and you can take the point size as 7 px Alright, so that is how you can create this time management dashboard using this data. Friends, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos. Thank you so much for the watching.